Hello friends, welcome to Jobmi Tech Solutions. Today we are going to work with JList component. In this video, we are going to make several Java classes and connect them with each other. We are going to fetch data from my SQL into JList and our data will be in two values. First is the text format and other will be the image format. We are about to fetch a list which contains image icon and a text as value. So guys, let's create a new project in NetBeans and uncheck create main class. Now create a package if you don't have. And create a JFrame form which will be our main class. Let's design the form. I am designing it with a header, footer and body content which will be our JList. Now before going to code anything, we must add my SQL JDBC driver library into library in our project. Let's create my SQL connection class in which we need to make a connection between Java and my SQL database. So I am connecting localhost server to my this connection. Now let's create a model class or an object class for your data type. I have a school system so I am going to make an object class for students. I need two values so I am making a constructor of a string and an icon. Now I am going to make getters and setters for them using alt insert key in keyboard to bring up methods menu. Ok now, we need to make a custom renderer for our JList so I am going to make a custom renderer java class.
In this class, we need to return a component as an override method which has five parameters JList as list, object as value, integer as index, boolean as is selected, and another boolean as has focus. Now in this component we need to cast a student into value using a student object class and we need to set text and get its value from our student's object our icon also needed to be set from our student object now set icon and text gap i am giving a 10 because i find 10 suitable for my design here we need to set background and foreground if is selected or not selected Set enable true to make this component enabled and set font from list. Now let's create an operations class where we'll make operations for these classes or to run any function. I am going to create a public static method for to list students into JList. And this method has two parameters. One is JList to connect our JList and other is JFrame which will work as context to J option pane. Now use trycatch to create a connection using MySQL connection and make prepared statement which will select our fields from our table. Let me clear you a thing here. I am using my existing database and a table which has three records of students and each record contains an image also. So I'll recall image as bytes from my SQL database. If you don't know how to insert an image into my SQL database then please go to watch my how to insert image in my SQL using Java with NetBeans video. I put link in descriptions please try to watch it. Now after preparing a query, we need to execute it using result set. Here we are going to check each record using while and result set.next. Let's store our image into bytes array. and clear that list model. Now add an element to list model and parse two parameters. First is a text value which I am fetching from result set as a student name and a new image icon where I am parsing my bytes array to show image as icon in JList. Outside of try catch, we have to set cell renderer as new custom renderer to our list. 
and we have to set model as list model to our list. Now let's add operation into our main class inside its constructor using operations class and call list students in JList method. Let's try to run the program to see how it looks like. Ok, our program is working but it has a little problem which is about size of images. So let's create a method to resize images. I am going to make byte array method because I need to return byte array into the result. This method is going to be complicated for beginners but don't worry, we'll try to catch it. I put four parameters in this method as file data, image width, image height and a J frame as context to J option pane. Now here we have to give our file data into a byte array input stream. And we have to work with buffered image to read input output of image from our byte input stream. Now check if height is 0 then set new height with given value and same for width of image. After that, we need to make an image as scaled image and put our image using get scaled instance and set its height and width and scaling format to scale smooth. Here use buffered image once again to a scaled image into buffered image. And use buffered images get graphics method to draw image is a scaled image and parse a scaled image into it. Now make an output stream as byte array. write image using image input output dot write and parse image buffer image format and output stream bytes. And finally return output stream bytes to byte array. Now come back to listing method 
and set scaled bytes into student image bytes and parse student image bytes into it including image height, width and frame as parameters. Now let's try to run the program to see how it works. So program is working amazingly. I hope you got this tutorial helpful. We'll meet in next video until you guys should watch my other videos like comment and subscribe to my channel. If you are new or haven't subscribed to my channel then please go to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit on bell icon for to get latest videos notification. Thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh